Barbara. Is everything okay? I've got to find Paul's doctor. His delusions are getting worse. Oh, I'm so sorry. He won't stop talking about Johnny. Now he's insisting that Johnny is here. Well, he's right. Johnny is here. What? What are you saying? He's right in this room. He's recovering from a bone marrow transplant. Dusty's with him right now. Barbara. Oh, my God. Johnny. Hi, honey. Well, you look just like your mommy. Barbara, he doesn't remember us. What is wrong with you? How could you keep my grandson from me and try to make me think that my son is crazy? How could you be so cruel? To calm down. You're, you're scaring my kid. That's my grandson in there. Why didn't you tell me that you had found him? I've been worried about saving his life. And I thought I was never going to see him again. I'm sorry I didn't call you. You shouldn't have called I was going to. Today. I'll take you for coffee right now and fill you in, okay, Josie? I'll keep an eye on Johnny. Right, call him if you need me, okay? I'm just going to let Johnny know. Yeah. You have a beautiful grandson. Yes, I do. Thank you. I, 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 I shouldn't be leaving Paul alone. I shouldn't be leaving him. Well, why don't I keep an ear out? Okay. Thank you. to get some coffee. She'll be back soon. You must be so excited to join back. Try to get some rest. Hey, Jen. Paul, I'm not... Can I see you? That's not up to me. You're his mom. I can't. Now that he's back, I thought you would forgive me for what I'd done. I... Paul, nobody blames you. Well, you do, or you'd let me see him. Please, Jennifer. We should go. She just looks like her. Why did he say that, Jen? We're gonna visit more later, Johnny. Try and go back to sleep. He he just said that you weren't his mom. Why would he why would he say that? Because it's true. Jennifer. I... I'm not Jennifer. I'm Josie. You hired me to pretend to be your sister, but now everybody knows that I'm not her. Where's, where's, where's Jennifer? She died, Paul. Oh. Now, you need to go inside and lie down and, and try to get some rest, okay? I'm going to go check on Johnny. Paul will. Maybe this is going to help. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Um, I'm going to talk to Dr. Reed about my son. Do you know when he's on the nights? No, I'll check me, on nurse. Uh, do you know where my son went? He's not in his office. He was in there a few minutes ago. Maybe he got taken for some tests. Not to my knowledge. My son has had a breakdown. He can't be wandering around the halls. Where is he? What's going on? What happened to Paul? Where is he? I... You were supposed to be with him. Did you say something to him? Did you do something, Josie? Josie has nothing to do with this. She was taking care of Johnny. Does he? She wasn't anywhere near Paul. Leave her alone. Instead of getting on Josie's case, you should be out there looking for your son. I'll help you. It's not your responsibility. You want to know why I didn't tell you about Johnny sooner? This is why. Barbara has every right to be upset. I'm just glad that you were with Johnny, because if Paul came anywhere Paul near my son... Paul wouldn't do anything to hurt Johnny. Who knows what he's capable of? But Josie's not his keeper, nor should you be. Tell me something, Dusty. It's obvious that you assume that Johnny wouldn't survive without your protection. How long is that going to go on? How long are you going to assume it's your job to keep him safe? For as long as I live. Well, welcome to parenthood. I feel the same way about Paul. And now I'm going to go find a search party for him. I'm going to go in and see my son. You want to come? No, you guys haven't been alone together all morning. All right. I'll come back later. Okay, I'll see you then. You're here. Do you know me? When you hired me, we used to have these training sessions where you tell me everything about Dusty and Jennifer. I hired you. And there was this one phrase that you used four or five times. It stuck in my head. You said that whenever Dusty is upset... He goes to Jennifer. Yes. He goes to Jennifer. Not he goes to Jennifer's grave. Like... Like she was still alive. Like she could be a comfort. You can. I can try. But I'm not Jennifer. Stop saying that. I'm Josie. <laughs> Paul, you know me. You know me or you would not have come here. You came here to say goodbye to Jennifer. 